Okay, so I already um, filled in my brows using Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. Now I'm just going to moisturize my face with um, Pond's Moisturizer for Dry Skin. Next I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and applying this all over my face. Then I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and then I'm just going to apply this all over my lid, all over my um, eyelids. Now I'm taking this um, black eyeshadow, all of the um, eyeshadow names and all that will be in the description box below if you want to know those. And then I'm just going to put these on my outer crease. I'm going to have tape on the side of my eyes so that I can have a straight line and all that good stuff. So I'm just taking this darker color and putting it on my outer crease. Now with this kind of, um, this color is kind of closer to my skin tone, I'm just going to use this to blend out, um, kind of in my inner, in my crease, um, just try to blend those colors together so I don't have like a harsh line, doesn't look raggedy. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to also go over the black one more time because I kind of erase the crease a, a little bit, so get some more definition back at them with a bit more black. Since this is a peak cut crease look, I'm using a, um, this is kind of like a raspberry type color. That's what it reminds me of. But I'm putting this all over my light, my eyelid. Then I'm taking this um, other pinkish color. I, once again, I'll have the um, names of the colors and all that in the description box below. But I'm putting this on top of that color because this pink didn't come out as, as pigmented as I wanted to. So I'm just going to add some more of that and then I'm just going to blend out all the colors together. And I think I added some more black into my cut crease. So yeah. Now I'm just taking a, like a um, shimmery pink and putting that in my inner tear duct and all that in the corner of my eyes. Then I'm taking my jumbo pencil again and applying this on my bottom lashes. I mean on my um, bottom, what is it called? Underneath my eyes. <laughs> and I'm putting the pink on the inner corner and then I'm adding black on the outer corner. Don't do what I do and pull on your eyes. It's a really bad habit that I need to get rid of. Now I'm just highlighting underneath my brow bone because I am done with the eyeshadow portion of this tutorial. I'm just going to take off the tape and then line my eyes. This is a, like a really, I'm going to line um, underneath my, under my eyes and then I'm going to um, do my top lid. But the, um, what am I saying, the liquid liner that I'm using in this tutorial I got from Ipsy Bag and I love it so freaking much. Like I'm going to leave it down below. Everybody needs to get this eyeliner because it is the bomb.
it's already part of my lashes off um, screen because I suck at putting them on. Um, now I'm just going to line my lips. After that, I'm adding this kind of new um, NYX color onto my lips because I don't want my lips too dramatic because I already have dramatic eyes. So, yeah, I'm just adding this nudish color on my lips. And I'm using my foundation. I use my foundation to um, clean up my lipstick. So, instead of just putting it around my lips, I put my foundation, full face foundation on and then clean it with a concealer brush around and then just blend in my foundation all together. You're about to see how I do that in a second. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm um, highlighting and contouring my face with um, these concealers from LA Pro or LA Girl, I believe it's called. They are the bomb. So yeah, I'm just going to do that and blend it out. I've done this a million times, so don't really have to get into detail how to highlight and contour. Now I'm taking this Maybelline um, light powder and dusting it across my face and then a black radiance bronzer and using that to contour my face. Now for this L'Oreal Mercier um, translucent powder that I actually got in the Ipsy bag as well which I was surprised to see in the Ipsy bag because this is a high-end brand that is like super expensive so yeah kind of used a little too much so I'm using like a matte bronzer to go over that I kind of went crazy with it then after that I'm just going to use my regular um, foundation nearly naked by Revlon and then that is pretty much the finished product because I'm done after that I just apply some fix plus on and then I'm done hope you guys enjoyed this video looking cute yes yes Okay, are we done? But um hope you guys enjoyed the free concert <laughs> and thanks for watching.